With almost any job on the farm, the first day or two you do it each year, it seems like things are ridiculously slow. Well, today we're going to talk about how you speed up that whole process with soil testing this fall. Well, first of all, you have to make a plan. And if your plan is, hey, I'm going to pull some soil tests myself, great. Find your app that you're going to do. The Ag PhD Soils app would be a great place to start. And then get your field set up. You can set those fields up in advance, and actually you have to set the fields up in advance if you're going to do any soil testing out there, so get that job done. It's an office job, you find a, a rainy day like today, and you can go ahead and get it done. It doesn't take much time to set those field borders and set up your map of how you're going to do your soil testing, whether you're going to grid that or you're going to just pull in certain areas of the field. You can do that all in advance. The next thing is make sure you get all your supplies on hand. You want to have a soil probe or even multiple soil probes. Maybe you have a team that's going to do this. Maybe it's your family. You have kids. Uh, get people involved in this thing and it'll speed that process up. But you want to have all your supplies around, have all the sample bags, get everything set up, and maybe even do a field right now. Do a tiny little field. Do a 10 acre field or something like that. So you get a little practice in and you decide, oh, okay, here's how I want to do this. So you can really go fast this fall. The whole thing is when fall arrives, you should be able to do 500 acres per day if you're on five acre grids. Now it's going to be a lot fewer acres if you're on one acre grids or two and a half acre grids. But the point is you want to be in mid-season mode right away day one. You see what I mean? You got to be able to go fast. Also, equip your four-wheeler or your pickup. Get everything ready to go so when that day hits, you say, all right, now we're rolling and we're rolling full speed. Well, if you're going to do that, Brian, and you're going to use a team, you've got to get everybody trained. For example, I've really enjoyed time spent with my kids out in the field pulling soil tests, and my kids actually do a really good job at it too. You just have to show them how to use the probe. You want that probe to be straight up and down and you want it going in at the same depth every time. So if you're pulling six inch cores, make a mark on your soil probes. That's something you can do in advance too. So you just push them in down to the mark, you stop, and you pull your core, it's that simple. Perhaps the most important thing when you're getting this all set up and ready to go this fall is make sure that you are going to do a complete test. We see so many soil tests that don't have all the information we need to make good decisions. They don't have base saturation. They don't have micronutrients on there. They don't have cation exchange capacity. Get a complete soil test. So as you can see, there's several steps here to getting ready to do soil testing on your farm. It all starts with setting up those fields in your app, talking to your lab, making sure you're going to get that complete analysis that's going to help you out, and then getting your team trained and equipped to pull the samples. Well, whether we're talking about preparing for soil testing or preparing to control our Weed of the Week, planning ahead is really important. We're going to talk about that Weed of the Week coming up next. <music>